Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part two of the giant Lego electric skateboard build, which I made last time. Check out part one to see how it was made. I've 3D printed all of these giant Lego bricks, put them together, 3D printed the giant Lego electric motor from the 80s. It's got a one and a half kilowatt motor in it. It runs on 24 volts. It looks really fast, but I didn't show you me actually riding it. So this is the test video. So we're going to take it out somewhere where there's no other people, hopefully, that I can injure uh, or injure myself. And we're going to uh, give it a go. And I think it's going to be pretty fast. There's also a 360 version of this video. And I'm going to be making the whole thing in 2D and 360. So it's one of those videos you can swivel all around with. If you're watching in 360, this is my 360 camera, then don't forget you'll need the YouTube app to get the proper 360 experience on mobile or the Chrome browser on desktop. So without further ado, we're going to uh, do some testing. So we've got to find somewhere to test it. Well, that turned out pretty good. I only fell off onto my feet. Generally, when I ran out of a place to go and skate on because it was the end of the car park, uh, basically the turning circle's not very good because there's only one pair of actual skateboard wheels on an actual skateboard. You have two that do this as you lean. On this one, there's only one. So it's all right for going along straight tracks, but I'm not gonna be doing the half pipe anytime soon. So uh, I'm not sure what the top speed is. It felt pretty fast. Um, there's a quite a slow acceleration because the uh, motor has a drive belt straight on the wheel, but that's how a lot of electric longboards work. I could put an intermediate gear stage in, but then I'd lose my top speed. Not sure if I hit the top speed, the ground was a bit rough, there were some smooth patches where it felt a bit better, but overall I'm pretty happy with it, but we can make some improvements. So there's going to be a part three, and we're going to do some tidy up and some other bits and pieces. Now one thing I'd really like to change is where the batteries are mounted. There's a pair of LiPos there in series, um, and those are just velcroed around the back axle, but of course the back axle doesn't turn because the wheels have got their own bearings, and that's all that's holding them in. The ESC is there, which actually controls everything, and that's the radio control receiver for the handset. But uh, basically it didn't get too warm, it's got a fan in so it's air cooled, so I'm planning to build a custom brick that sits on the back that holds the batteries and the ESC, and of course uh, maintains airflow. I'm probably going to make it in grey, and then I can have the grey cable that was what used to come out of the Lego motor into a kind of grey battery brick, although the actual battery brick had three C size cells in, so it'd be absolutely huge um, if we were to try and make it for this. So I'm going to put in probably a 2x6 or something that holds all those bits and pieces. There's also some other features I'd like to add. Obviously we've got just Lego bricks and we've got some Technic girders there, but we don't have much else uh, really apart from the flat board. So uh, one of the things I'd really like to do is add the Lego light bricks you used to get, which were a two by two brick. I think I'm gonna put two on the front and one on the back perhaps facing backwards. And there's also some other sort of secret features that you'll have to wait for part three to find out what I'm gonna add to it. So that's actually the end of this video. Sorry, it's a bit shorter than my usual videos, but it took about 600 hours to print the board in the first place and make part one. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this project and lots of the other projects. And don't forget to turn on notifications with the little bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, it's really important that all my projects are funded through Patreon. So have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots and you can get access to some exclusive rewards, including a live stream with me, access to all my videos early and sneak peeks and pics and other things. All right, that's all for now.